Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about metal fume fever. This is an occupational hazard. It is a flu-like acute febrile illness associated with inhalation of fumes, respirable particles of zinc oxide. We call it pure metal fume fever, but due to chronic exposure, we may have other particles like copper, iron, manganese, magnesium, cadmium, phosgen, and nitrogen may enter into the lung and may cause chronic problem. Metal fume fever commonly occurs in welding, melting, flame cutting, galvanized metal, there is zinc coated steel, and traditional blacksmithing especially in Indian subcontinent. Using coal as a source of energy to melt the irons. Mechanism of toxicity. The fume enters lung through the inhalation in workplace settings. The exact mechanism is unknown. It may be due to cytokine. Cytokine is an inflammatory mediator cytokine induced body reaction the toxic dose is variable from person to person depending on the physic genetic background and age so what are the symptoms flu like symptom normally begins 4 to 6 hours after exposure with fever malaise myalgia and headache the white blood cell count, that is the leukocytes, increases to 12,000 to 16,000 per cubic millimeter. So there is leukocytes, cytosis. Rarely asthmatic or allergic reaction occur in pure metal fume caused by zinc oxide exposure among the welders who work on galvanized steel. So asthmatic and allergic reaction due to other fumes like that of the iron, cadmium, manganese, magnesium. By that of the zinc oxide, it is not common. Diagnostic tests include complete blood count, X-ray of the chest, oximetry, and arterial blood gas study. What are the treatment options? Treatment is symptomatic. For fever, acetaminophen or paracetamol. For bronchospasm, bronchodilator. Lack of oxygen, hypoxia will give oxygen. If there is chronic exposure and lung pathology has started or already established, then management of management according to the pathology, like emphysema pulmonary fibrosis or chronic bronchitis. Is there any antidote? No, there is no antidote. Prophylaxis, how can we prevent metal fume fever? We have to protect, we should have protecting gears to the person who work in those workplaces, welding mask, helmet, avoiding high heat exposure if possible, regular checkup because we may have respiratory our patient may have respiratory problem like emphysema pulmonary fibrosis fibrosis chronic bronchitis even it may lead to lung cancer due to metal fume fever for many many years okay and that's all about the metal fume fever if you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.